the load versus elongation graphs for four wires of same length and made of same material are shown in the figure the thinnest wire is represented by the line oa ob oc od well either oa is there or od is there right the other two ones are intermediate fine so what can we say now can we say uh okay same length okay same length is there and same material is there Achha. okay same material what does same material mean same material means y same and uh, same length so l is same okay l is same okay mm. Achha. let us say uh, we take a uh, same uh, load okay say we take the same load okay now what can we say about these wires for same load okay for same load which one is producing the maximum elongation that wire will produce max okay so in this case a is going to produce the maximum elongation for same load okay now let us try to write down the equation using hooke's law look here hooke's law what does it say hooke's law says that uh, delta l is equal to fl by ay okay now because uh, we are taking the same load f will be constant okay same material is there so young's modulus will be constant or same and length is also there so length uh, that part is also not going to matter so basically delta l into a is constant okay so longer the elongation or larger the elongation smaller the area smaller the area means thinner the wire thinner the wire is in this case a okay therefore wire a is thinner or is thinnest any doubt no sir yes we can also interpret it the other way so to produce the same elongation we have to apply more force on wire d because it is thicker okay okay question 6 done the adjacent graph shows the extension delta l of a wire of length 1 meter suspended from the top of a roof at one end and with a load w connected to the other end if the cross sectional area of the wire is 10 raised to negative 6 meter squared Calculate from the graph the Young's modulus of the material of the wire. Okay, fine. Let's first uh, go for Young's modulus, which is a uh, ratio of stress to strain. So stress is force by area, and this is a uh, L upon delta L. Okay, L upon delta L. Uh, force is a uh, W. Okay, force is uh, W. Okay, okay, let's do one thing. Let's shift delta L here. This length is there. Okay, length is 1 meter. And uh, area is uh, 10 raised to negative 6 meter squared. So everything is in SI units. Okay, now what is F upon delta L? It is uh, reciprocal of the slope. Right, reciprocal of the slope. But because it is a line, Okay, we can also pick any pair, okay, of F by delta L. So I, I can pick 40, uh, or 42 or 21 or 63 or 84, anything would do. So it's 20 into 10 raised to 6. Okay, cross plus. <coughs> so what is the answer? 20 into 10 raised to 6. Okay.